former sports arts and culture minister Zizi Kotwa is set to appear in the Palm Ridge Magistrates Court today, along with his co-accused, uh, former EOH executive uh, Gian McKay. The pair are facing charges related to bribery allegations emanating from the Zonda Commission. Today's proceedings are expected to produce the outcome of representations that McKay made to the Director of Public Prosecutions. Godwa's legal team has already teased uh, further legal action if the matter faces further delays and proceedings are set to begin at 9 a.m. So for more on this court case, we cross live to SABC News reporter Kenny Mapanga. Uh, Kenny, good morning. So uh, just to talk to us about the delays that we've already experienced in this case and uh, expecting, of course, uh, to hear what the outcome was of that application to uh, the uh, National uh, Prosecuting uh, Authority. But also we saw the last time uh, legal counsel for uh, former Minister Zizi Kotwa Zola Machabu saying that uh, they will not actually uh, be willing to uh, basically await any further. They don't want any further delays in this case. But what can we expect today? Well, good morning to you, Sakina, and to the viewers at home. Indeed, as you correctly stated, uh, the former EOH executive, Jahan McKay, along with his co-accused, uh, former sports, arts and culture minister, Zizi Gota, will be appearing at the Palm Ridge Magistrates Court this morning at around 9 a.m., where we expect to hear the outcome of the representations made by McKay to the DPP. Usually when one or an accused or makes representations to the NPA, it means that they are seeking uh, a a reconsideration of the institution of proceedings against them or prosecution against them. So we expect that that is the nature of the representations that McKay has made to the DPP. As you may have known that there has been several delays pertaining to this issue um, of McKay making representations previously in other court appearances. We have seen that he first started with the regional head who denied those uh, that request for representations and of course it was escalated to the DPP and it had to be postponed again. In the previous appearance, it was revealed that the DPP had not received those representations. And of course, the matter had to be postponed again to today, where we will hear whether there is an outcome on those representations made to the DPP. And of course, Sakina, as you've correctly stated, that the legal team of Mr. Zizi Gota have stated that uh, due to his position in the political landscape of South Africa, he has had to step aside and lose uh, some opportunities in terms of the seventh administration due to the fact that he has to handle this criminal matter before he can proceed going forward. So they have teased further legal action in the form of separation of trial. If we head to court this morning and we hear that there's going to be another postponement because this issue of representation has not been sorted out. Of course, you know, when an accused has that right to make representations to the National Prosecuting Authority, where they are not successful at each stage, they're able to escalate we know that right now it is at the DPP, which is at the provincial level. Of course, it is possible that uh, if McKay isn't successful today in those representations that he has made, that they may choose to escalate it further to the NDPP. But that is yet to be seen at 9 a.m. this morning when those proceedings start, Sakina, as to whether this case that deals with an important issue emanating from the Zondo Commission will be able to proceed going forward uh, following the various postponements that we've seen or if there'll be further delay in order for McKay to make those representations. But of course, we'll be giving you those visuals at 9 a.m. when they appear in the dock. Over to you in studio. Well, thank you so much, uh, Kenny Mapanga, our reporter there at uh, the Palm Ridge Magistrates Court, who will be keeping us abreast of those developments.